All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fruits Basket Season 3, Episode 5. After last episode, man, I am just so looking forward to this now. Last episode was amazing. I love Haru and Rin so much, and I'm so happy that they can hopefully be properly happy together now. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that, and really looking forward to getting back into everybody else's kind of stories this episode as well. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, as always, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get into the episode right now. We have an IMA episode, let's go. It, does she know about the curse? Oh, interesting, okay. I like that these two are hanging out, getting to know each other. All oh, these two as well. Why do all the uh, Zodiacs seem, like, really down? At the moment, is something gonna happen? Oh. What? <laughs> she ran hella quick! <laughs> Yo! Tell her what? What are you gonna tell her? Oh, she, you're gonna tell her? Holy shit, he really does have some kind of feelings for this girl. Whatever they may be. Isn't that what Akito always does? <laughs> really just gonna walk away without saying a single word to Kuro? Shigure just does not give a shit. He won't deal with that bullshit. Holy fuck. Who? Who is this? Huh? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, there has been some kind of mad time skip or whatever. What the fuck? Oh my god. I thought the other two had grown up, but I completely forgot about Momiji. Even his voice has changed, holy crap. Mm, okay, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck it. You're not wrong, Haru. Seeing stuff like this happen, with Rin and Haru and Momiji and the little ones are grown up, like, it's really, really doting on me now that this is the final season. I'm scared. I don't want to see it end. Oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot Toru was dirt poor, man. <laughs> he just walked past her. <laughs> Let her get some words out, bro. <laughs> hey, you're taller now. You, you, can, you can throw hands with you. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. I wonder if there's any kind of connection between her and uh, Kyo, because they're both uh, felines. <laughs> you are very much more mature than Shigure. <laughs> How old Shigure? He's is like mid-twenties or something, right? To Akito? Why not be a little nicer to Akito, is he saying? Does he fucking have to? Can someone write, like... A thesis, dissertation, something on Chigure's character, please. I need to know more. How he can, like, just so nonchalantly just say this shit. Like, what is on the TV? Oh, never mind. It's not the TV. It's those two. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. All the Zodiacs love Toru. It's great. Hey, tall boy bunny ears. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I, fucking, I fucking love Haru He's like Yeah let's burn the fucking desk Let's burn the table <laughs> that, but, but that means Kyo has grown the, Sorry what, what am I trying to say That means Kyo has grown as well He looks older like holy crap Oh Oh Damn Bro like seriously He's got a point Kyo Make your move while you can make it. Just do it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> nice little family gathering making curry in the garden. <laughs> yeah. He's just an idiot. <laughs> what is going on? Oh. Oh my god. You are eating curry, boy. 
Oh my god. Oh, mm, Japanese Corey always looks, well, anime Corey always looks so good. Oh. Is this... Is it Akito's dad? What was that? That was just like a nightmare or something. Oh. No. No way! Did his... Did his curse just break? I haven't been able to close my mouth for like two minutes. Did his curse just break? Oh my god, it has, hasn't it? What is it that makes the curses break? Bro, my mind is fucked. Of all the people, it's Momiji. I thought for sure maybe next it could be like Haru or Rin or someone, but like... What? I'm not completely wrong in this situation, am I? And I'm... I, it, the curse did actually break, right? <laughs> I love these little dumb facial expression scenes. It's so funny. It's gotta be... It's gotta be love of all... of Or something, right? It's gotta be something to do with that. Oh my god, it really is. Having the opportunity to have a normal life now and not being the one that Toru... Yeah, except it's not only yours. Let him do what he wants to do with his life. Let him be happy. That's actually so sad. You're not going to lose everyone just like that, though, bro. Come on. Pain. Every episode is a new flavor of pain. <laughs> I'm proud of my bunny boy. And then this music kicks in, and then it makes me feel even more. Oh, I was hoping he'd get to hug her or something. Can't believe that. That came. That really came out of nowhere. Like. Oh, at the start of the episode, I was like, oh, this episode's great, like, a little crazy already with what's happening with everyone. And then we, you know, get the Momiji comes back and he's suddenly fucking a giant. Sorry, I just lost train of thought. Someone just knocked on my door. Um, yeah, the uh, with Momiji being grown up now and being tall and now suddenly out of nowhere, we obviously, there was it was hinted at it in the past that Momiji might like her in some way. We get that as a big reveal, and then bam, curse gone. Like that. I, how does this anime shock me so much? Like it just out of nowhere, this stuff happens. It's amazing. I love this anime so much. But yeah, wow, what a crazy episode that was. Um, yeah, really looking forward to the next, as always. Yeah. Anyway, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice just your day. Um, peace out.